Okay, let me show you a mark made with the paintbrush tool. Now let me show you another mark made with the pen tool. Right, very similar in shape. You can get the same kind of shape from one to the other, okay? Now, let me just select this one. I see that it's been stroked with something called basic, which is what all your strokes will be stroked with um, by default. Okay, you can change the thickness of it, but the thing remains basic. I'm gonna change it to this thing down here, which is charcoal feather. And lo and behold, the two start to look pretty similar. Let's select this one and turn it into basic, stroked with basic. There we go. So I've, I've swapped their appearance. So what I'm saying is that they're both the same. They're, they're different ways of making paths. They're both paths. Uh, their main uh, immediate difference is that they're stroked with different things. Right. So the, other than that, that, that uh, you might use a, a, a paintbrush tool to do something freehand, like sign a name, and the path tool to do something more precise, like make a geometric shape. OK. Other than that, they both produce paths. Now, let's look at these paths. To do that, let's go into the view menu and outline. OK, now I'm going to select this fellow here and I see that it's got two points. This one has one, two, three, four, ooh, five, six down there. Five, six, seven down there. So that's a very messy path. So if you want to do something precise and economical, uh, don't use the paintbrush tool. You're gonna to land up with a very heavy file, messy points that will just uh, create problems for you later on, all right? Um, now, this video should be watched in conjunction with my video on the brush panel, which will show you some of the ways that a, a stroke can be, uh, that a, a path can be stroked in, a, in an interesting and, and non-conformative way.